guys, I have one more video for you today. Um, oh, that's a lot. I have two more. That's okay. I want to review the couple of e.l.f. products that I have currently. I ordered a ton of stuff from their website, and that should be coming within the next week, so I'm super excited about that. Let me start with this. I do like their packaging a lot. Nothing's really excessive. I like their boxes. I love, you know, the clean black and white of all their you know, the product actual packaging. This is the mineral infused primer. It's actually clear. This is comparable, in my opinion, to uh, like the Revlon Photo Ready stuff where you get like the HD primers and things like that. They feel the same, but this is a fraction of the cost. If you buy this in store, which they have them at like Targets, you can get some of their products at Walmart. I know there's other in store ones, but those are the two that I know off the top of my head, or even elf.com, which their website is actually eyes, lip, face.com. Uh, that's actually what e.l.f. stands for. Um, you can get this primer. It's six dollars. And if you like any e.l.f. products, sign up for their coupons and their notifications because they send you so many sale items. Every time I've ordered stuff within the past week, I ordered from them a couple times. The first time, everything was 50% off. So I just ordered, you know, a bunch of stuff that that's coming in. Sorry, my nose is itching. The second time I ordered, it was if you order $20 a product, you got a free mystery $20 value bag of stuff. So I don't even know what's coming in that, but I'm super excited. Getting back to what I was saying. Um, you can see it comes out really clear. Like, I don't even know if you can see that. You can just see that little, I should probably do more than that. There you go. It's as clear that when you put it on, it's so velvety. Like that was a ton. That was like doing my face like four times. But when you put it on, it doesn't really have, you know, a sheen to it or anything. I'm just not even turning my hand right. It doesn't really have a sheen or anything to it. It has, like, this really velvety finish. And it's, you put it on your face after you've washed and you moisturize and allowed your moisturizer and everything to dry and set. But you actually put it on under your foundation, and it just helps something for your foundation can actually glide and adhere to. And it goes on so super smooth. So, so far, I'm super happy with this. I have it under my makeup today, and I just really... Like, it's so light. I don't feel like I have a ton of extra on my face. This is my blush. And if you look in there, I won't open it because I broke it. What can you do? But the e.l.f. blushes, they're, this is color Candid Coral, which it's, for me personally, because I'm so light, like, I like it. It's like, it's fairly pigmented. I mean, you're not going to be like, oh, it's like MAC, which is super high pigment. But for, I think I got this for $2.00. Um, I can't really complain. It might have even only been a dollar in store. It's either a dollar or two dollars. Either way, you're going to spend under three. And the blushes are kind of higher pigment, so they're good. They stay on. I find that they last all day. I actually have it under my edges here. Anyways, so I do like them. They're not my absolute favorite, but I don't hate them. They're great for the value. So that's my blush that I have. I would probably give it in the B range. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not the best blush I've ever tried, but I still really like it. Of the primer, I give it into an A range because I have really sensitive skin and I don't break out with it. So I can't complain. It keeps everything in place. It stops my little frowny lines in my parentheses. The next product I have is I have two of these. And I apologize that my stuff's all messy because I do actually use it. And again, this is all stuff I've purchased myself. No one's paying me to say any of this stuff. So, But these are the cream liners. I currently have the black on. So you can see it is really like intense black. I think it's cute little packaging. And there's actually the pro the top of it goes all the way up into the lid. So there's a lot of product in there. Definitely keep it covered so it doesn't dry out. It goes on really, really smoothly. And I mean, it is a really rich black. The other color that I have is... Punk purple, and I don't know if you can see it on there, but it's just really like pearly. Oop, just drop stuff. It's just like really pearly base. Like it's a really darker purple, but it's got like almost like a hot pink shimmer. I don't know if you can kind of see the little flakes in there. And these actually come with their own little liner brush in them. And I think I paid, I want to say this is more of the three range. It actually might be less than that. It's either two or three, but I know it's not more than three. They're so super inexpensive. This little brush is more of a kind of a stiff bristle brush. Bristle brush. You can actually really do the cat's eye. I didn't use it on this cat's eye today. My cat's eye is really high up there. I, I know how much makeup I'm wearing. It's totally fine. I actually use their concealer brush to define it. That's why it's all kind of gunked up. You can kind of use any brush, but it really glides on really easily. But you can also kind of just touch it. It's not watery, so it's more of... It's almost, it's drier than a gel even, but it's, it's really good. I mean, it stays on all day. I, mine personally does not smudge. I actually use it inside my waterline and up on the upper. I don't know if you could see the upper. I probably just looked insane. And it stays all day, so I really can't complain. 
I would definitely give that probably like a B. It's comparable to the other gel liners that I've tried, so I give that one a B. Um, then I have the Volume Plumping Mascara. I think I paid a dollar for this in store. It's nothing super special. I mean, it's just, this one's a standard wand. It's a black. I have it on right now. I do have to build it up in a couple coats. It's not like the thickest mascara in the world. So it's, but I mean, for a dollar, can you really complain when you can just stock up on it easily? I think that's all I have to review for the e.l.f. right now. I've ordered a bunch of their other, uh, tools, face stuff, eyeliners and colors and lips and things like that oh it's lips okay this is actually what's on my lips right now which it's actually kind of rubbed off this stuff but this is color teal rose I love these these are a plus plus it's this little crayon that I mean there's a ton in there but I'm not gonna take it all out because my luck it won't go back in you can see this kind of got this like lavendery kind of color let's swatch it a little bit I mean it's on my lips right now I use it to actually uh, line it and then go over my entire lip as a lipstick and then I actually will put you know stuff over it if I want but it's amazing I find it doesn't bleed off it doesn't really come off that much when I'm eating and what's cute is it's got if I can get it a little pencil sharpener in the base of it which like the first time I owned these I owned like five of them and didn't know there was a pencil sharpener in the base because apparently I don't pay that much attention. It's another great product, A++, because I love their colors. I just, I adore this stuff. That's my review on the current e.l.f. products that I have right now. I think e.l.f. is, again, it's not top of the line. It's not going to be, you know, if you're really big into not having paraben or certain things in your makeup, it's, this is not the line for you. But they definitely have quality considering their price is amazing. So you can order a ton of stuff and you're going to be happy with it. I still haven't found something that I'm super unhappy with as of yet. I can't wait to get the other stuff and I'll get the reviews up on that right away once I get those and let you know. So I personally can't wait to try it out myself. So let me know what you guys think of the e.l.f. products. Let me know below what has worked for you, what hasn't, what you'd like to see me try out. I do like to purchase e.l.f. products and stuff. So if there's anything else that you're curious about, let me know and I will probably go buy it and do a review on it. Thanks.